Welcome to Footfield in Edmonton and the gold medal game of the U16 Football Canada 2018 Western Challenge. Good afternoon, football fans. I'm Kevin Donnan, and I'll bring you the action as Team Manitoba takes on Team Alberta in the championship game of this four-team, four-game tournament. Ball, who they're trying to keep the ball out of the hands of and, and how they get, set up their coverage teams because of it. Here we go. Number one, Luke Nolan, also a quarterback for Team Alberta. He's going to kick things off, and this gold medal game is underway. Kickoff. He, he took a pretty good hit there. So we're back to the live action. Manitoba going to kick this away. Oliveros, number 34, back at midfield. But it's not Oliveros who feels it. It's Ayamanar, number 10. Flags fly all over the field. Ayamanar is going to go in for the touchdown. As flags were flying literally everywhere, Ian. Yeah, it looks like a holding call on Alberta on the return, which takes away a good return. But nice nice job making the cut for the punt returner. Well, it's the same thing that we talked about in the first game. It's tough to put in an offense and a defense, and let alone a special team sure. in six days. There's Luke Nolan now. There's Niembo and a good tackle. That's number 56, Nicholas Pereira. Sideline to sideline and how effective they are. And obviously he can rush the passer and rush the running back that we saw in the first offensive play for Alberta. But he's a guy they're going to have to spy on from the offensive line and try to get a hat on him because he's running, wreaking havoc right now. Three yards One, rushing. Niembo of Harry Ainley here in Edmonton. He had 57 yards. Nolan now off his back foot, fight for the football. And Darcy and Park loves to use the fullback, Ian. Absolutely, that right and left formation going in there and using them as somebody that can set the edge on outside zone or inside zone, uh, but also as an option in the passing game. Is had at least four or five touches, so Darcy Park obviously relies on him a great deal, has a lot of trust in terms of his hands. So now, here we go, Jacob King. He's going to call his own number here. Can he get to the edge? And there's Jacob King, the punter. Alberta calls for it. Taken down at the 19, a big call by Darcy Park. From the punter, way to get a huge first down and get some good momentum from Alberta deep in Manitoba territory. And that's where they are, first and 10 from the team Manitoba 19. Gadget play on special teams. Nolan now can't find anyone, and he is taken down for the sack. Number seven, Zach Little, who also had a big game in that semifinal. And he's a big kid, 6'3", 170. Coming off the edge, Ian. And he's got a great first step. He was one of the team captains for Team Manitoba, and he's, he's going to have to vertical set him all game long for them to make him run the arc. Second and 17 now for Team Alberta. No score, three minutes to go in the first quarter. Glad you're along with us. Gold medal game. Good step by Nolan, and he tried a little, a bit of an improvised screen, if you will. Manitoba, Terry from, uh, Manitoba Territory for most of the game. Looks like we're trying a long field goal, and especially when you have a dynamic returner like that, you got to make sure you're down covering, especially those big guys up front protecting. Negus Lewin about seven or eight yards deep in the end zone. Luke Nolan now going to try this one from 34 yards out. There's the snap, the hold, the kick. It is up and good. So number one, Luke Nolan. Cash is in for three for properly, team. but thanks to the beauty of social media, someone pointed that out to me. So whoever did that to me or for me on Facebook way back there in Manitoba, I want to throw a shout out to that individual for thanking or for helping me out. And there's wide open Team Manitoba five touchdown. Number 80, Peyton Lake. Out of Winnipeg, wide open down the seam, a Team Manitoba touchdown. Big play. And that's what you see when you have a team that's going to be focused on stopping that run. You're going to have guys running on seams. You're going to have guys that are going to have potential one-on-one -on -one coverage to be open downfield. That's what we saw there. That's what we this game. So good job from Manitoba to see that open and committing to that run early allowed that to happen. Max Fyodorov was, really had no chance to, to pick up that receiver. But what a play. So that, that one big play that we saw, that long touchdown pass. But so I would say the commitment to the run has been huge for Manitoba. That's obviously their game plan. There's the punt by Sean Green and switches. That's impressive. Sean Green, normally a right, normally right footed, switched to his left and got the ball away. Here's the other punter, Jake King, as a returner now. He's fighting for extra yardage. Great play with the left foot. Here we go now, Team Alberta, 9.09 to go here on football 
Canada.tv. Here's Luke Nolan, number one, that little lateral to Ayamanor, and a great play. Nicholas Pereira, who else? Number 56 from that line. Six and a half to go in this first half. Big play here in the second quarter. Hanslip out of the shotgun. Near hash. Here's Lewin now. Is he stopped? Yes, he is taken back. That's a big stop by number 60, Dan Rosen of Spruce Grove. He beat his guy in his first step, was able to get penetration and stop that play from happening. That's a great individual effort. A bunch of guys in there making that play. Put the coach in the press box, but we can't take the coach out of the press box. Here we go. Nolan now, number one, he, and there is Nicholas Pereira, and you have got to figure out where he is because earlier in the quarter. So here's Hanslip now out of the shotgun. Play fake, and he's got Lake right up the middle, right to midfield and taken down inside Team Alberta territory and a real quick hitter right over the middle, and that was just a two-step drop and sling it. It almost becomes a bit of an extended handoff on that. You're getting the ball out of your hands real quick. Nice high percentage pass to go and get him the ball. Right, nice little quick slant. Let Jack Dutton in on the tackle, number 55, along with number 21, Dylan Oreo of Lloyd Minster. And it's fun to watch this, this a bit of defensive back and forth with Nicholas Pereira and Dutton. Uh, both those guys are making a lot of plays for both of their teams. That's, that's fun to watch and good to, see, good to see good linebackers going out and taking control over games. Here comes the measurement. We also want to, while we're taking a look at this measurement, we might as well do a little bit of business here with our sponsors. So Football Canada would like to thank their national sponsors. That is a big first down for Team Manitoba. Some of those sponsors include Volt Athletics, Invictus Gloves, Choice Hotels, Shadowman Sports, Game Breaker Soft Shell Headgear, Huddle, Avis, Big Chief Meat Snacks, Opro Mouthguards, Rydell, Ambrotech, Quest Awards, and First Down Playbook. Want to thank the many national sponsors for Football Canada and their support in making these events happen. A chance to network and learn from each other. So all in all, just a congratulations to Football Canada and, and locally congratulations to Tim Anger, president of Football Alberta, for putting on such a fabulous show here in Edmonton at Footfield. And of course, thanks to the University of Alberta for their facilities as well. So you know what? The football community always works together really well. We, a lot of competition, but when it's time to help the players, and there's a good pass, and he is going to walk into the end zone. Mike Salant from Vincent Massey in Winnipeg and Team Manitoba. Nice, easy nice play. He gets it in the space and is able to make a move in the end zone. Nice play call, good timing, good selection. Mike Salant with the touchdown, and Team Manitoba with that mix that real balance of of pass and run where you've See got how alberta can move and make sure they take care of that point after was good 14 to 3 team manitoba leads and a little short kick here by team alberta and that's number 43 shelton tan of calgary with a nice little return there is a seven in this opening half team manitoba leads 14 3 nolan out of the shotgun there's ayamanor and very close whistle blows. The play's blown dead, but another one of that that uh, that pass out into the flat to Ayamanar almost turns into disaster for Team Alberta. And those are tough because those are laterals if they don't go forward. So it, it's one of those things you got to make Boy, sure you play the whistle on that. And <laughs> the referees. Yeah, Jake King standing at his own 30 to kick this ball away. Negus Lewin at his own 40. Good kick by King. Backs Lewin up to his own 32. He's going to try the near side. Reverses his field. Looks to the wide side. Now tries up the middle. Takes a big hit at the 40-yard line. So, so far this game has been a couple plays you want to have back, but just stick to your principles and do your job. Here's Hanslip now. Hand, hand off to Banfield, number 27, and he plows ahead. For about eight yards, there is uh, a, a bit of a difference in these two teams. Is anytime the Manitoba's running the ball, they're getting positive yardage, and that's been whoa. And there's a loose football, and it is pinballing around everywhere. Hand off to Banfield. We don't know who, who's got the ball. Well, Officials you know get into the pile to check it out. This is a big play right here. Those piles aren't very fun to be in, so I don't think they. <laughs> nobody knows who the ball is right now. And it's Team Alberta. There Looks like they've got play. the football. Huge play. Signal from number 99, Anthony oh, Paul. Here, just and 11 seconds to go in the half. Nolan out of the shotgun, throws to the corner, and it is a, we don't have the 
It is a touchdown. Team Alberta, number 88, Ethan Henderson. And Luke Nolan threw a bullet to the near sideline. So what they've been able to do on this drive, they've been able to give their quarterback some time, whether that's through some blocking changes, scheme changes, however it is, he's had more time to go in. Points off turnovers. The big turnover right at midfield here or just in inside Team Manitoba territory. Banfield coughs up the football, and Alberta cashes in. So if, if you're Team Alberta, you've got to be feeling pretty good. Absolutely. If we if we get, if you know what, if we can force a turnover, get a turnover, we can score points really quickly, and that's exactly what they did. And now Team Alberta has cut the lead to 14-10 with just – Six seconds left on the clock. 40 yard line. So, Team Manitoba likely will run a play or take a knee here and go into the locker room with a 14 to 10 lead over Team Alberta. Glad you're along with us on FootballCanada.tv. Kevin Don and along with Ian McLean, the head coach of the Edmonton Huskies of the Prairie Football Conference. And here we are at Foot Field, the gold medal game of the 2018 U16 Western Challenge. There's the handoff straight up, handoff straight up the middle to Negus Lewin, and that is the final play of the first half in the gold medal game here at the U16 Western Channel on, Challenge on FootballCanada.tv. And Team Manitoba leads this one going into the locker room at the end of the first half, 14 to 10 over Team Alberta. We'll be back in just a few moments' time. Hurt themselves. Ayomanor and Cialo back deep in the second half of this gold medal game is underway. And there's Stanko of Lethbridge, number 27. He's got room. Manitoba tries the short kickoff. And number 27 of Lethbridge Alberta will start first and 10 inside Manitoba territory at the Team Manitoba 50-yard line. So if you're Darcy Park, this is a great place to start the second half. Here's Luke Nolan out of the shotgun, high snap. Hands off to Cialo, number 22. He was quiet in the first half. He's not quiet now. Down to the 30-yard line. Two-yard line. Third and two. Third and short, so. Third and two, so it's a, it's, a, it's a long third down conversion. Alberta going for it here. Stanko, the lone setback. And he gets the ball, and he... He's going to be very close to the first down. I think he's got it right at the 20-yard line. Needed to get to the – needed to get to about the 21. I think Stanko has – First down. The room. So it is a big first down for Team Alberta. Of course, Team Alberta struck and got the touchdown late with just seconds yeah, left on that. The at the best of times, though, when they bring plays like that back. It's, uh, it's one of the most destructive penalties in football. First and 20 from the 30 yard line. There's another high snap. Nolan now looking down the seam and there's a flag. And there's the pass interference call. Team Alberta from the Team Manitoba 15 yard line. Here's Nolan under center. Rolls right, throws. That's Critch in the open. Down to the five and he's gonna rumble in for a Team Alberta touchdown. Nice Give easy. the big man the ball. Nice he easy to put his head down and get at that end zone. Nice touch on that football, too. Rolling to his right, that's a nice ball. And we talked about it earlier that Darcy Park, the head coach of Team Alberta, likes to use the fullback position. He's got a lot of confidence in Critch. Gave him at least half a dozen touches in the in the semifinal. And now Team Alberta looks to take a three-point lead as Luke Nolan will attempt the point after. But a well-designed, well-executed touchdown for number 35, Duncan Critch of Ardmore. Well, and a good football player too, right? You can want to get a guy football as much as you want, but when you have a good football player doing things like that, it makes it really easy to get on and get in the ball. Point after is good, and this, this week at Foot Field. Absolutely. People don't have a clue how long it takes to put one of these events on. They've done a great job. <laughs> a lot of logistics behind the scenes. Here's Hansel now looking deep down the field, and it is nearly caught. Number one, Theo Carahelios. The Manitoba bench wants a pass. So here's Sean Green. Talk about the wind being a factor. But a pretty good kick here. Here's Ayamanor fielding it at the 49. He's got the sideline. And there's Lewin with the tackle. And Ayamanor won't be taken down. Now for Team Alberta is making a huge difference. Absolutely. Like we said at the beginning of the game, they had a couple of mistakes on special teams and cost them some yards. And since that point in time, they've been fantastic. Flawless, really. Yeah, it's been great to see. It's fun watching good special teams at work. 
Now Luke Nolan, the quarterback for Team Alberta. Spot the ball at about the 18. He'll drop back, throw, look to the far side, and Aya Monar just out of his reach, number 22 over along with us. 7.30 to go here in the third quarter. The U16 Western Challenge from Foot Field. Here's Nolan now under center. Play fake to Cialu. He's got Critch again. Here's Critch going in. Team Alberta, touchdown. Number 35, Duncan Critch has his. And again, he sets up nice and open. And give him space to work with. He's a good athlete. Gets a good head of steam underneath him. That's, that's two touchdowns for the big man. That's a good job. A great show here early in this third quarter. And now Team Alberta has widened their lead. This point after is good. And Team Alberta now has a 10 point lead. 24-14 on that. That last punt return of his was a set up the touchdown. And here's Sean Green gonna get this one away. May have been tipped. And it will roll out in front of the Team Alberta bench at about the, let's call it the Team Alberta 52 yard line. Oh, so because of just his aggressiveness. Nicholas Pereira is the disruptive force on that Manitoba defense. You can see why now, Team Alberta first and 20. Cialo probably in an effort to keep Nolan upright had to, had to hold Pereira. Here's Nolan now going up top, down the far sideline, caught Ayamano, 30, 20, 15, 10, touchdown Team Alberta. Luke Nolan and Ayamanar go up top and Team Alberta. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've been practicing with mine for about 20 years, but uh, I'll tell you, they all they all count, but here we go. You don't ask how. That's what, you know what, they all look good in the newspaper, but there's the, yeah, even even Nolan looked up and thought, wow, you know I've what, only got 40 yards to the green, I better I better bring out the, uh, better bring out the lob wedge. This I'm is working hard on that. Just try to try, got to try to connect on some of those now. Hands up with a pretty good throw on the run, rolling to his right, just out of the reach of Niapu, who had a pretty solid semifinal against Team Saskatchewan earlier in the week. There's hands lip again, and just out of the reach of Peyton Lake. And that's number 32 for Team Alberta. The last two that. times he's touched the football, great punt return. And then most recently, that big touchdown that has given Alberta a 17-point lead. Here's Ayamanar again, 35-30, down to the 20, cuts inside, into the end zone, touchdown, Team Alberta. Three phases of football game, and that's where the statistics teach the speed like that. That's a, that's a play built on speed, being a good athlete, seeing a great hole, and, and that's, that's a big, big, to, to Manitoba. Point after is good, and Team Alberta expands their lead to 24. The Kyle Watt will be okay. And you mentioned it. I think it's pretty impressive to see the parents that have been out, that are out here oh, from all yeah. three provinces and how far they travel to see their kids. It's uh, it's a family game, and it's great to see that. You know it, and it is one football community in Canada, one big family. There's Hanslip down the middle, got a receiver wide open. Number one. Theo Carajalios. It's been uh, very, very good to see the quality of football from all four teams we've seen today. Well, and Zarajawi, Al Zarajawi and DeMail, you know, creating a lot of room for Jack Dutton to be, to be free as well. So a good unit here. And there's Peyton Lake, and there is a flag there. It looked like he Flags was interfered everywhere. with. Yeah, he is. And offside penalty against Team Alberta. That penalty's declined. Pass interference against Team Alberta. That penalty will be accepted. And we've also got an unnecessary roughness. So three penalties on the play against Team Alberta. And what you've got is Team Manitoba set up first and goal to go from the one yard line. And I'm gonna guess that Negus Lewin's number is going to be called somewhere, some way, somehow here from the one yard line. And there he goes. Negus Lewin tries to do the Walter Payton over the top. Doesn't get over the top, but gets held up in midair with the football. And Negus Lewin with a big Team Manitoba touchdown. Uh, they put passing game, and you got to find a way to claw your way back into this football game. And they have cut the lead to 17 here, 38-21 now for Team Alberta. But that was a, an impressive drive the by middle team. there 
That's uh, that's not for the faint of heart. No, and well, it's still that is number 24 in the embo. He went in and stuck his stuck his nose in there and blocked uh, number 56 for win for Manitoba. Goes right back to Henderson, and that Henderson makes a nice play for the first down. So, when you're in second and long, you need the receivers to get those extra yards for you. First and ten, Team Alberta from the Manitoba 53-yard line. Three receivers set to the near side. Hand off to Niembo, but it's gain of two on the play. Second and eight, Team Alberta from the Manitoba 51-yard line. Nolan now out of the shotgun. Takes two steps, throws across the middle. Ayamanar down the middle, down to the 20, 15, five, touchdown, Team Alberta. And Ayamanar broke about three or four tackles along the way. It's over. And, was and uh, nice throw by Nolan. Uh, when you have a receiver that much speed and his ability one to tackle, move that well. Two and tackles. Six foot one, 180. He's a physical specimen out there, and he's got we the got speed to earlier. When you're in the zone, you're feeling it. It's, it's always a fun thing to watch. It's all about the yak yards, yards after the catch, and Aya Manar did, did a great job. Uh, Broke three tackles on the way to the promised yeah. land, and that you've is. You've had two extra days of practice, absolutely. too. You've had Thursday and Friday. The, the receivers, the backs, you know, the quarterbacks, they can all. Oh, and there's a loose football on the play. Live ball, and it is. Get in that wind. wind, and it bounced right back. That ball hangs up in there, and Alberta is hustling downfield hard enough. They're able to jump right on it. That's a good job for the kicker to hang that ball up as high as you can. Angus Lewin, you know he's got the green light to go if if that uh, if this kick is wide. Be an attempt of 27 yards. Luke Nolan has hit one from 30, which was Alberta's first points of the ball game, but he was good from 30 yards out. Here's the snap. Here's the hold, the kick. And it is wide to the left. Here's Lewin now going to pick it up. 10 yards deep in the end zone. Tries to get to the corner nice and he is taken down right at the pylon. What? 35 unanswered, 28 unanswered in the, in the third quarter. So there's, and we've seen Team Manitoba has the explosive players to do it. So Manitoba backed way back. First and 10 at their own five. Calgary. Number 77 for Team Alberta. Now he looks to be playing in the middle linebacker spot for number 55, Jack Dutton, who's probably earned a little bit of a rest as well. There's a beautiful throw by Hanslip and just off the hands Pretty of football. He does. He's got a really nice arm, good height on him as well. So he's gonna probably got a long future in this well, game with that arm. Uh, he's done a really good job for Manitoba. Brady Hoyt with the defense for Team Alberta, number 17. The football community and, and work in and around the football community here in Edmonton. And as expected, Green takes a two-point safety in the end zone wisely. But as I was mentioning, you know, for those of us So that's about a second and 29. As I've said before, Ian, there's not too many plays in the playbook for second and 29. So we'll see what State Smith can do here. He'll have the slot back end around to Henderson now, number 88. He's going to try and get to midfield and does at the Team Alberta 54-yard line. So That's Peyton Lake. So Manitoba looking to put pressure on Jake King. He's going to try. He's going to call his own number again. He's done it once before. Loose football. And Team Manitoba will take over with the fumble recovery inside Team Alberta territory. So and I will protest, but... Nick Pereira on the sideline taking a look at either his shoulder or his back. Back to live action. Here's Van Norman and just laid it in there for Peyton Lake just out of his reach. So you can golf. You should bet. Be, should be hot and humid for those guys. <laughs> it always Southern Ontario always always a little sticky this time of year. There's a ball deep. Good coverage on the play, though. Number 25 uh, for absolute blanket coverage by Brian Galindo of Calgary. Well, if you look on this Manitoba sideline, it's always tough when you play your heart out and you have a game not go entirely the way you want to. But they've done a really good job. they got a lot of good players out there on all three phases of the, of the game, and they've done some good things offensively, uh, defensively, and on special teams. Jeff Reddy and his team of his coaches and players have a great deal to be proud it's of. It's amazing to me every, every year when I come to these things and see the size of some of these guys when they're going into grade 10. It's crazy. <laughs> it's, it's absolutely crazy. Oh, I got three young kids at home. I'm scared of when I have to pay the food <laughs> bill for when they're teenage boys. Well, I'll tell you. You know what? In, in my house, we have a gallon of milk 
And then we got a backup to that gallon and a backup to the backup. Oh, oh and now yeah, Monor was oh. not going to let the D back catch that football. That was number that's number that's Leaf Dedura of Thunder Bay, Ontario. Oh. And Aya Monar, nah, you're not gonna intercept that he ball. He looked, looked like he was feeling a punt in the NCAA. Field. The U sixteen Western Challenge. And we're wrapping up the gold medal game, of course, earlier today through the uh, the monsoons and the typhoons and the thunderstorms. We we got through the bronze medal game. There's a ball right down the middle and picked off by Team Alberta. That's number 28, Max Fiodorov of Calgary, who's had a sensational game in the defensive backfield. Has been and he's has had a tremendous afternoon at free safety. Yeah, good read on the ball. Nice play in traffic and good return on it too. 27-yard return for Fyodorov on that interception and he had Toba territory. So here is Dallas Stay Smith under center. And he'll hand it off to Stanko, number 27. He's got an open field and into Manitoba territory. Running no. down here. Provide the lightning and Stanko provides a little bit of thunder between the tackles. Stay Smith now out of the shotgun. Three receivers wide side. High snap, hands off, and taken down on the play is the running back, number 34, Isaiah. Yeah, scat back type player. It's good to see him get some touches in the game at this point in time and, and show what he can do. He's a young one, too. He's, 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 I think he's in grade nine, but a young birthday. You've got a similar running back in. Oh, there we go. Pass picked off. Intended right over the middle for Ethan Anderson and a nice interception by Team Manitoba right there. That's Ten, oh, number 10. Nope, number 10, thank you. Got the, We had a wardrobe malfunction. So Prairie Football Conference will have, boy, some great rivalries to start things off, some great games with uh, both Edmonton teams on the road, and then it's the Battle of Edmonton on the 25th, and it'll be a packed house at Clark Stadium. Here we go now. Shotgun snap. Throw over here on the near side to Peyton Lake. Well executed. I also well think that when you have a receiver blow up like oh, yeah. did, uh, it makes it pretty easy for your team to rally behind that. He had a dominant second half. I think we had four touchdowns in the half. Four touchdowns in the half, one on special teams, three through the air. So, And one of the things you have to throw those passes, get the game in, in back in place for them, and let the second half happen the way it did. 38 seconds to go in the football game. Team Alberta now cruising to the Gold medal once again. Here's Spencer Stanko from Lethbridge rumbling into Manitoba territory right to the Manitoba 50-yard line. And, so and you, we was, you want to establish a running game early so it can wear our teams down late. And that's what I think Alberta's have been able to do a little bit. And having a lead and having the passing game click like it did in the second half helped a lot with that. We certainly want to offer our congratulations to Jeff Reddy, head coach of Team Manitoba and all of his players for their silver medal performance here at the U16 Western Challenge. Team Manitoba has a great deal of, uh, can take a great deal of pride in their performance, as all, all four teams. Team BC, Team Saskatchewan, who earned the bronze medal, and of course, uh, Team Manitoba, who will earn the silver. Team Alberta now has won the 2018 U16 Western Challenge. Brought to 